I think it's always worthwhile for anyone to develop something of an intellectual obsession. This can be reading poetry, it can be playing a musical instrument, it can be singing, it can also be studying natural history. Natural history is particularly nice because no matter how much you know, there's always something else to find out. I've very recently become obsessed with the notion of trying to find out how one would start exploring natural history from an absolute standing start. I'm still wrestling with how to go about that. Therefore, I think that starting with something small and working up is the way to go. Start by getting to know one species, a totem species. It could be a particular species of tree that you like, or it could be a bird, or it could be a, a butterfly. It, it could be a worm. Try to find out everything that you can about it. You'll quickly find then that it has relations to other species. You'll find out about them, and you're off to the races. Another suggestion is simply suppose you start with one small place, your own backyard, try to find out what all is there. Then you find out, well, what's different between your backyard and the park nearby. The most important tool of the trade is eyes, ears, nose, just uh, keeping an eye out for, uh, for nearly everything. But there's sometimes a bit of machinery that will, will also help. So uh, one of the things that I almost always have with me is a pair of binoculars. Also small is um, the camera that I almost invariably carry with me. And then finally, um, there's a little magnifying glass. You can get these in bulk for somewhere around two or three dollars a piece. If you run into little children at any time and they become interested in it, you can just give it to them because it doesn't cost all that much. For any extra equipment, I carry along um, a backpack, but one of these shoulder uh, packs is actually a little bit better because I can flip it around like this and easily access my, uh, my goodies. Um, the first of which is uh, quite a luxury. It's uh, a little mat. Uh, that I can uh, simply put on a log to sit on. All you've got to do is to start with identifying one species and being able to tell one interesting story about it, and you're already on the way to becoming a naturalist.